Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome to today's Traveler Tuesday. We have here a flip through of Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society Volume 9 from Mongoose Publishing. It supports their Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition, which is the current, I think, uh, banner bearer of the classic Traveler Legacy and the Traveler Legacy as a whole. So without further ado, let's take a look inside. So if you're interested in flip throughs of issues 7 and 8, we already have those up and way back in the channel's history from a couple of years ago, I have a giant video flipping through issues 1 through 6. And of course, this edition of the Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society harkens back to the classic Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society from Game Designers Workshop. And it pretty much fits that mold. So let's, uh, let's get started started here. So, uh, Classic Traveler by Mark Miller, edited by Matthew Sprange and Isabella tricani Cinelli, uh, graphics and layout by Katerina, Katrina Hepburn, uh, and we have here 130 pages, and I'll try and call out the, the authors of the articles. Uh, good table of contents, as has been the case with the last couple of these. Uh, first off, we start with a patron encounter by Gear Laniscog. All of the patron encounters um, that I've seen in this run of JTOS have been by Gear Laniscog, and they look really good, although I haven't given any of them a thorough read yet. Uh, this is just kind of a buzz through. So once again, as usual, we have several pages of detail on this. Uh, the patron encounters are like uh, campaign, not so much adventure seeds, but like campaign components that you then flesh out, uh, the referee fleshes out themselves. Uh, in this case, it looks like a lot of that work has already been done with, you know, we've got a special ship here, which is a TO-13 yacht, which is, you know, relatively high tech level. And it looks big too, 400 tons. It's pretty big, yeah. Uh, fast launch, which is, uh, I think, a new uh, a new small craft at 20 tons. It looks like it will go up to thrust 7. That's pretty fast. Uh, remember that the, uh, and that's TL-12, The that Traveler has inertialist thrusters, so it's not like you're under, like, 75 Gs or anything like that. Uh, at TL-12, anyway. Uh, luxury sealed aircraft. This looks fancy. Illustration quality looks good in this, by the way. Traveling Andy by Andy Sykes. This is Code Duello Falsepi 882. Uh, so this is an article on dueling, which is discouraged by Emperor Strephon. Although, you know, whenever dueling has been uh, felt necessary to outlaw it, dueling has continued to occur uh, historically. So it looks like we're, we're touching on that a little bit. Okay. Uh, Charted Space by Tim Heiderich. Uh, 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 awesome Laga, a reserve like no other. Um, annexed by the Third Imperium in 110 in the Ot Zell subsector of Lishun. I believe that's a sector. Um, so this is a oldest, one of the oldest subtle worlds in the Imperium, and it is a garden planet of some kind. Uh, and it looks serene. Uh, so we got history on this. Uh, there is, has never been a book on Lishun subsector to my recollection, so... Uh, here's an adventure, a rat patrol by Tim Heiderich. And it's on that planet, actually, which is cool that we're now supporting that planet with uh, an additional adventure. Here is an air rifle, air powered slug thrower. Interesting. That's a TL6 item. Here's some creatures the Quetzal and the Augur, which looks like a giant beaver. And the Quetzal, which looks like Quetzalcoatl. Uh, Highguard, Telchin, Mining Craft, and Rhea Orbarge. Okay, these are TL-12, ah, interesting. TL-12 Small Craft. And here's the Rhea, which is a 1,500 ton ship, presumably, which then deploys these, these mining small craft. Uh, that's pretty cool. We've re not really seen that kind of infrastructure built very often in Traveler. Central Supply article by Andy Sykes, Survival Armaments, TL-7 stuff, uh, and a TL-12 laser, and a TL-3 bayonet. So, uh, tech level-wise, all over the place. There's a lot of different kinds of guns, um, so you can pretty much tailor what your characters have, assuming your Game Master lets you have, uh, lets you just buy anything. Um, you could pretty much tailor your weaponry to suit yourself. Uh, here's an encounter by Isabelli Tricani Cinelli, Akasatl. Uh, she may be encountered at any down port. Okay. Uh, and here's her flunky. Who is Jodani? Are they both Jodani? They're both Jodani. Okay, that's cool. 
Okay, and here's a small, a TL-12 small craft, the Psara. It says small craft here. This looks like more than 75 tons to me. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just because it doesn't have a it doesn't have a jump drive. So, um, and it's 75 tons. That makes it a small craft. Pretty big deck plan for a small craft, though. Thrust six. It's got a pretty big maneuver drive. Okay, that's interesting. I think you're not supposed to put a jump drive in a vessel less than 100 tons. It's supposed to not work correctly in vehicles that are too small. Here's the Amindi, uh, Sofans native to the Regina system. Interesting. I don't know that I remembered that there were native Sofans in the Regina system. Regina is, of course, one of the kind of the classic traveler worlds in the Spinward Marches. Very interesting. Okay. That's very interesting. They are Imperial citizens. The rules for Amindi travelers. Here's a critter by Craig Bunting. The Jereeny, Jereen, Drain. Not sure how we pronounce that, but it uh, looks like a rock hopper type of thing. The Vindicator Logging Heavy Walker. This is sounds pretty fun. Yeah, there are, other than being a walker here, there are vehicles like this that just kind of grab trees and yank them out of the ground by the, by the roots. Um, so that's pretty cool by Sandrine Thorak. Apologies for any mispronunciations. An adventure icebox found at the EXE cutoff by Donald Orr. Uh, Dying Signal GK, which is the Volani version of Mayday, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll buzz through this because we don't want to spoil it. That is a very abbreviated adventure, but that's okay. That's that's a very classic traveler thing. is a is a short adventure kind of structure, and then the referee builds it out themselves. Here's an encounter, Captain Mareni, who is human, although he looks to be enhanced or infected with something. Um, High Guard Belvedere Station by Donald Orr. Okay. Uh, quite a bit of detail on Belvedere Station here. And here's an IISS review form, which is pretty cool. Please rate the following facilities. I would totally hand this out to the players. The II is the Imperium, Imperial Interstellar Scout Service, is the IISS, by the way. Traveling Criminal Organizations of the Marches by Gareth Hanrahan and Matthew Sprange. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, that's pretty cool that that's here. Uh, looks like we got some details on that, too. The Ine Givar, which is a uh, uh, terrorist organization that's been floating around for some time. Everybody thinks, that at least, that they're being subsidized by the Jodani, but um, I'm not sure that that has ever been definitively stated. The Cult of the Traveler. So, a bunch of, cr you know, crazed, or less crazed, I suppose, um, little organizations in the Spinward Marches. This is pretty cool. Uh, briefing file Avastan by Gear Laniskog, which is in District 268, which is in the Spenward Marches. So here's the details on this place. Uh, the Lake District, very interesting. Uh, looks like we're getting good detail on this. One of the last worlds to be colonized in District 268. Here is uh, a polar region map. And Gatha Island, which exists at the North Pole, which is interesting. And it looks like there's a bunch of settlements there. So it sounds like an interesting environment, and we get a lot of detail on that. Here's a patron encounter, The Wrong Patron, by Gareth Hanrahan. Uh, and again, these patron encounters are kind of um, adventure-building components that you can fill out for yourself. It's a, it is a classic, classic traveler uh, element uh, that I really like um, and allows you to, to put a lot of, of gameable material on, you know, sometimes half a page. Although all of the ones in the Journal of the Traveler's Aid Society redux here uh, are much, much better fleshed out than that. So that is the end. We're at all 130 pages here of JTAS Volume 9 from Mongoose Publishing. So thanks for watching. If you found this valuable, please do give the video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. And I'd like to give a special shout out to the patrons of Ardwolf Slayer, without whom it would be impossible to do this and other types of content that we feature here at Ardwolf Slayer. So thank you, patrons. Until next time, thanks again for watching and happy traveling.